Today's episode of Number Six with Cheese is made possible by $35 a month patron, Miss Cindy Brown. Cindy, this one's all for you. It's a pizza shirt for a pizza kind of day. Today, Bob's Pizza, there's four locations. This first one opened in Pilsen. So the guy that started this created his own style of pizza called Pilsen style pizza. And I will say this, Chicago style pizza is not that good. So just make whatever you want. If you make good pizza, dude, I'm fine with it. Today, Bob's Pizza, this one's got sausage and onions and all kinds of fun stuff. So come along, we're going to the Old Town one. See you very soon. Hit the shirt. Pizza looks insane. Hey, how's it going, man? Just pick up for Sean. Number six with cheese? Yeah, that's up. <laughs> how's it going, man? It's going, man. Thank you so much. Have yeah, a great day. Awesome, yeah, have a good one. See you soon. I'm excited for this. Yeah, enjoy it, man. Will do. Well, that's not how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good one. Dude was awesome. Also, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Pizza boxes make great tripods. Look at this. Look at the smoothness. All right, here we go. We got a 16 inch pie from Bob's in Old Town acquired Jump Cut. Jump Cut. This bad boy was 22 bucks, so we know. And now, Corey Wagner, that's him, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that. <clears throat> that's a good looking slice. So, we got the sausage, and it's covered in obviously sausage, but also all these little onions that they throw up on here. Yeah, those look, look great. Good. Damn, this is visually very attractive. Okay, perforated edges. Boom. A good one. Clean. Clean. All right, a quest to try every pizza in the city continues. Look at this monster. Yeah, these are some big slices. Wow, look at this thing. I like it. I like that. All right, there it is up close. Sausage, pickled onions, Bob's. Cheers. Cheers. Pilsen style pizza. Mmm, mmm. Okay. Is this doused in lemon? That's interesting, what is that? I love the crust. My next bite was way less lemony. I think I got a lemon spot. Interesting, I didn't even know there was like any like zest on this. This is an awesome crust. It's fantastic. Mm. Look at this sausage too. You can tell this is like, they say locally Big sourced. Boys. It looks great. Oh my God, it's so tender. Mm. I'm obsessed with this crust. I wonder what it is. It's like crispy. Yeah. It's thin, but still like holds up. Wow. I'm so glad I don't have any more lemon bites. That first one <laughs> really freaked me out. You know, the whole thing of like creating your own style, they really did. Like this is unlike, this crust is completely different. Is the onion? Maybe the onion is like pickled over. Oh, onion. yeah, just, oh my God. Taste, look at these big clumps. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna try one. Oh yeah, whatever that's pickled in is really intense. It's so, uh, I oh. think it's lemony. Yeah, it's like lemon and vinegar. I don't really like the onions, but the rest of it is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's good you pinpointed it though. It wasn't yeah, like... so I was so confused. My first bite had a yeah. lot of lemon and then no lemon for a while. Right. And then right back to lemon. <laughs> this is really, really good. And I really like that. I've had this another time. Mm -hmm. It was that pickle pizza I was telling you about. They're known for like this mm. like... <sighs> Never had a pickle pizza. Me either. Dill pickles, garlic cream sauce. <sighs> Nervous. That's fun. That's fun. Fun. The website even says, we know you're gonna think it's weird, but just do it. I mean, their crust is so good. It's like an open-faced ham sandwich almost, but there's pickles and cream all, like it's a white pizza. Yeah, you told me about, about that a while ago. It's very polarizing and weird. That made me think like, oh, we gotta do this crust, this pizza for the show. They got a pepperoni and they got like a Korean barbecue, but I've never had the sausage one. I've also never had it from this location. Mm -hmm. This is the best I've ever, like. this crust, even better than I've had it. This crust is phenomenal. I'm a huge fan. This is like a very, very, this is just my, exactly what I want in a crust. Yeah, and price, we've talked about this recently. A lot of these pizzas are close to 30, 22. Yeah, 22 is my fit, like, that, a lot of them are that, and that's like the good zone. The right. rest are all 30, and uh -huh. this is the bad zone. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, actually, I shouldn't even say a lot are 22. It's like a handful. I'd say it's like kind of rare. There's yeah. normally more, 26 at least. Yeah, 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 it's true. It truly is a different style. Like, it's not New York, because it's not like super, it's really crispy, it's not Neapolitan. No, New York would never be able to be this wide right. without having to do the fold. Right. This crust is fantastic. Huge fan. Yeah, it's not, um, 
Neapolitan because I'm not getting all those burnt spots. Right. I think maybe like the guy that does this pizza, I think he cooks the crust with like beer because of the yeast. Oh, okay. There's something going on with like he's doing it different than the traditional method, which obviously if you're going to create a style of pizza, you got to do some stuff differently. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, what's that stuff we had for Quad Cities? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a thinner Quad Cities almost. Yeah. Which I think theirs was like yeast based or something. Yeah, you're right. I actually ate all mine before I put hot sauce on it. That's how you know it's great. This is really good. I don't care for the onions, but you don't have to get those. Not at all. And they're not so prevalent on it. You can easily take them off. And the uh, sausage is so great. I know that I can get items on here that are great. Like, mm -hmm. obviously, you know what I mean? Like, this is my first one I've tried. Yep. I know I can go get pepperoni, no, no onions. Right. And then I'm going to have a great experience. This is a very good crust. They had some fun add-ons, too, if you guys want to spend a little bit more. Black truffle, yeah. truffle honey, like a garlic. They have their own house-made hot sauce. I bet Ooh. that truffle honey's dope. I bet it's so good. There's four locations too, so they're clearly doing well. They've expanded out of Pilsen. Are you doing a second slice? I'm thinking about it. This is up there, dude. This might be top five pizzas for me. I could see in yeah. Chicago. That's damn good. And I love how different it is. We had a video come out last week at Big G's. Big G's was awesome. And that was incredible. But this is like similar but different to that. Yeah. Uh -huh. in a Which good is way. an impossible thing to describe. It really is. Like we basically give no information. No, you no know, just trust us, man. And that's all we can do. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a pizza scientist. No, we're coming up on 1,400 episodes of the show. At some point, we have enough legitimacy that you just have to trust us. Yeah. We have to call up the professor the pizza professor mm -hmm. to figure out the pizza science behind this. Who might be Bob? I don't know. I don't know him. No, he's not. Pizza professor doesn't have a, uh, a storefront. That's a good point. Wow. That crust. That crust is what does it for me, which is something you don't hear me say often. <laughs> no, you don't. I want to say once again, shout out to our $35 a month patron, Cindy Brown. For once again, she's our number 11 fan. She's our 11th fan of all time. That's her claim. That's what she says. She is so awesome. She said, you guys know the terrain. You know stuff you want to try. Pick something. I trust you. Thank you so much. She's, she's an amazing human. She's One of the most positive people on the internet, on the World Wide Web. And she always scoops up that merch like it's nobody's business. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if there's a bigger supporter out there than her. Cindy's the best, dude. For 10 years, man. True American, American hero. She's American hero. I wish we could cut one in half, you know? Yeah, they are super wide. That is the problem with the wide slices. But when you got crust that uh, kind of handles the wide slice so well, you got to do it, you know? I know. Should I try to cut one? Should yeah, I get, yeah, should I get let's weird? Let's do that. Let's do that. Might be a horrible idea, but whatever. Actually, dude. You're gonna, I know you've made fun of me about keeping these in my backpack, but I think I got a metal knife in here. Oh, there we go. Church's chicken, <laughs> which by the way, we haven't even talked about that. But the it's so funny. Church's chicken, when we did a sponsored thing for them, gave us gold silverware, so I kept it in the camera bag, the number six with cheese shoot bag, if you will. And now we're gonna cut one of these slices. Which one do you want? You do this guy. Damn good job. Damn, yours is clean, dude. Mm, clean as a whistle. Look at that. A little tougher on your end. It's all right. I'd rather do good things for you than good things for me. <laughs> I'm the Jesus of my time. That's what Jesus is always saying. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't humble about yeah. it at all. That's why he did all that nice stuff, right, to talk about it. He'd go to bars and be like, dude, you hear what that, do you hear what I did? Jesus Christ was I nice. Hated it. Behold, here you can see ordinary water. Okay, now turn around. Uh, okay, now turn back. Mm. Mm, mm. We should talk about that in this video. The week of Thanksgiving, right? Right before you went home, churches dropped off just a mega thing of food for us, but you were home, so you got it. <laughs> and a gallon of gravy. Number six with gravy. Number six with gravy. So what was all in that? Chicken sandwiches? Chicken sandwiches, chicken, mashed potatoes, a gravy boat, and, an, and a number six with cheese gravy in like a big container. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, another thing, follow us on Instagram, you want to see cool stuff like that. Yeah. We put it on our story. Corey literally messaged me and goes, look what these guys just dropped off at my apartment. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. Guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps the channel a lot. New episodes every single weekday. And then also, last week I vlogged like a madman because I didn't go home for Thanksgiving. So I was in Chicago. So I just treated it like a content blitz. So hey, if you want to uh, follow along with my vlogs from every day, cooking stuff, traveling around the city, drinking German mold wine, all kinds of ridiculous stuff, go subscribe to the Hey Sean Ely channel. A lot of you guys have reached out and said, nice thing so for all of you who are doing that it means the world but also here on this channel today let's also give love to the fans let's do a shout out merch out of merch out of merch out number six of cheese.com is the website buy something off the website get a shout out hot sauce subscription fastest shout out possible today two names and merch out of number one goes to my good friend from the military mr chris protein i've met him chris got the uh black burger shirt the monday drunk shirt 
five pack of sticker, stickers and the bottle opener. Huge, huge Let's order. See. We set that up to Joliet, Montana. I hope you enjoyed it. Chris, him and his boyfriend, boyfriend or husband? I think maybe husband now. Either way, him and his significant other are huge fans of the show and they're also just awesome people. So yeah. thank you guys for uh, ordering all that stuff. I've seen Christopher in a nice number six with cheese jump cut shirt looking immaculate when I met him. So it's etched into my mind. Amazing fan, sexy human. Yep, that's right. Well, I guess it's official. Speaking of legendary sexy humans, merch shout out number two goes to Mr. Courtney Basinger. One of the top five biggest supporters, I would say, of all time. Fact. Lowell, Michigan. In this particular order, I think he's got just about everything. Black hamburger shirt, trucker hat, sunglasses, two Monday drunk shirts, one was probably for Angela, and the stickers. Spent a ton of money, used his discount, because he's a Patreon, smart. Number six with cheese.com, be like Chris, be like Courtney, buy the stuff, helps us a lot. And just like Cindy, she helped today to make this possible. You guys are making the show run. So thank you so much. And now, let's Let's rate it. Um, okay, uh, out of five, how about, Bo I was thinking Bob, I think Bob Odenkirk. I couldn't tell you. You know, I'm not really a doctor. Great guy. Out of five Bob Odenkirks, how many Bob Odenkirks do you give the sausage pizza, 22 bucks, Bob's Chicago Cory? I thought the crust is unbelievable. It's one of my favorite crusts I've ever had. The only one better I think is the Toledo crust. Mm. I love, oh, also Detroit style. So Detroit style and Toledo style, both I'd say. Bold. Uh, I love the price for Chicago. I think is really good. The only thing I didn't care for is those lemon onions were trash. <laughs> if you don't like lemons, I'd yeah. definitely stay, say steer clear of those. Uh, other than that, that was fantastic, and I have to imagine that without those lemon onions and with just something more traditional like a pepperoni, that it's like an almost unbeatable pizza. It's probably one of the top in the city. It was very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna give that a four. I think it was great. I thought you were proud of me. I'm absolutely blown away by this. Um, I didn't like the onions either, which is crazy to me because I like lemons and I don't really mind like pickled onion, but there's something about that that didn't mix with like the sweetness and the saltiness of the sauce and the cheese. It kind of felt like combating a little bit. So I'd kind of lose the onions, but everything else about this pizza was absolutely perfect. The crust, I love the crunch. The price was good. I'm going high, dude. 4.75. Wow. One of my favorite pizzas in the city. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this was incredible. Guys, thanks for rocking with us. Uh, we're back here tomorrow at Corey's on Fridays. We hang out at his apartment. We drink, we eat, we rate random frozen foods. So come on back. Hope you're having a great start to your December and we'll see you very, very soon. Mm. Goodbye. How did I legitimately have a box on my lap and my entire lap is covered in, what am I, an idiot? Yeah, it's all that cornmeal or whatever. Yeah, all over my ding dong.